You all are welcome to Flick Scores. <laughs> Hi guys, and I am back again. My name is Remains EK Banks, that original evil boy. And I hope you guys have actually been enjoying um, all my videos. And I've been giving you guys movies, my opinion on these movies that actually have been dropping. And today I'm going to give you guys my review on a movie that also dropped this year. And it dropped actually on 26th of May. Um, director of this movie, Rick Roman War. Uh, producers, so many producers, but I'll give you a few. Gerard Butler, Brandon Bowie, Christian Mercury, Basi Iwanik, and the rest. And distributed by Open Road Films. Box office, $6.2 million. Uh, cinematography, McGregor. So, yeah, um, let me give you guys the plot of the movie. So, an undercover CIA operative gets stuck in hostile territory in Afghanistan after his mission is exposed. Do you get me? So, guys, he, accompanied by his translator, he must fight enemy combatants as he tries to reach an extraction point in Kandahar. Yes. So, basically, this is what this movie is about. The storyline of the movie shows a CIA operative who actually goes for a mission. He succeeds, do you get me? And then he leaves. When he gets to Dubai, he meets uh, a senior colleague of his who gives him another mission, do you understand? And he needs to go back to Afghanistan. When he gets there, the mission, the earlier mission he went for gets exposed and his identity which is like not like his real identity, his alias, but with his picture on it is actually blown. So now the whole, the whole territory, the whole place is actually looking for him. Taliban's, the government, ev in fact, every single one. Because these Taliban's want to get him, and then you know now get money through, you know, getting him. So basically, the movie is, is the storyline is just about you know what it takes you to be in that side of the world as um, as a threat or as someone they want to kill <laughs> so this guy actually is with his translator who actually never knew that ah um, he thought he just pick up this man from the airport take him to a social so location but now it's it's crazier because the translator actually had the reason for coming do you understand so basically, he thought it wasn't even about the fear of getting killed. He was like stopping his plans from actually coming to do, doing what he actually wanted to do here. So basically, they had to fight through terrorists, in fact, so many things before they could get to Kandahar and then get out of the country. It was so difficult. At the end of the movie, it was like all hope was lost, or finally, hope shined on them. <laughs> and they actually were able to prevail so yeah storyline for this movie is a normal story of uh, of uh, a cia operative that actually goes for a mission in the middle east and you know stuff like that it gave us the vibe of the middle east it was a nice movie i enjoyed watching it storyline for this movie for me is a 17 over 20. moving along to the cast and delivery for this movie like we all know we have some wonderful actors and actresses in the hollywood but you know there is there are some people that just stand out from the rest there are some people that actually just stand out from the rest i'm going to give you the first one once i mention his name i know you guys be like oh man him again so yeah for for tom harris we actually have gerald butler <laughs> our bad guy so if you guys have watched so many of his movies all over the, the last i think one of the recent movies that actually he acted as plain. Uh, if you've watched plain, you would understand how this guy is. Wonderful actor. You know, he take, he's always, he's very calculative. It's not as if he's the best of fighters, but he's very, very calculative. Now, we also have Roman Chalmers. Now, the guy who acted as Roman in this movie is Travis Female. 
if you guys have actually watched Vikings, you should know who this is. This <laughs> ah, you should know who this is. You know who this man is. Uh, this is Star of Vikings, and he actually played a perfect character. He fits into character for this movie. Um, he's always dying. I don't know why he died. <laughs> he died in this movie also, but man, it is what it is. Um, I'll give you one other person, which is also who is actually a translator, Navid Negaban. Do you get me? So that's those three guys are actually main characters in this movie, and they actually killed it. Um, cast and delivery for this movie. I want to be precise and straight to it. Cast and delivery for this movie. I'll give it an 18. Yeah, slightly ahead of uh, the storyline. It's big scars. <laughs> so guys, you know, going straight into the visuals for this movie. This movie actually, when I watch movies, I actually just try to take enough details and just when I see something off. Well, honestly, I don't know. I think this is one movie I would probably say someone should give me something off in the visuals. There's nothing. Do you know why? Because like the camera scene in the Middle East, like I I know it's not easy to actually people will be like, what's there we can shoot? But like when those cars were moving, when the bombs were dropped, the dust, like I don't know how this camera guys, I'm not a camera guy, but like I know man. It's it's wonderful. I'll give it to McGregor for his cinematography. It was wonderful because like every single thing for the, in visuals of this movie was on point. Ninth scene on point. There's this time when they were driving in the ninth, and um, the hero of the movie was actually putting on this um, military glasses or whatever I don't know what it's called that can actually give you uh, a different color or view of what the ninth looks like i don't know what they call it honestly but that part was mad that part was exceptional so for the visual visuals of this movie i'll give the visuals of this movie and 18 also going straight into the costume and character um nothing much they gave us exactly how people in the middle east look they gave us exactly how uh an american soldier would look and they, you know even when they have change of clothes and everything how his spy or his CIA operative will always look. It was really nice. Um, costume and makeup. Makeup, 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 makeup. Uh, not bad. Um, the injured parts in the movie or where people actually had issues. Like, I love the fact where his translator, when he was beat, like tortured in um, Taliban's um, custody, it was really real. I loved how the makeup was on his face. And even after he was, he um, he he got to Kandahar and left. When he got back to his family, I saw you could see that yeah he has been cleaned up, but you could see the injuries on his face. So yeah, makeup and costume was actually perfect. I would give that a seventeen also. Now going straight into the sound, you know now, no the waste time. One thing I picked. Apart from this, the sound of this movie is going to get a 20 over 20. If I've told you already, it's 20. But like one thing that made me love the movie was that apart from having sound, I could hear exactly everything they were saying. Even though most of most of the things they were saying were in, I don't know if it's Arabic or whatever they speak over there in Afghanistan or Iran or Iraq. But whatever whatever I heard was wonderful. It was audible. Do you get me? Now, the part that blew my mind was the music that was played at the ending of this movie. That was actually when they actually were on the plane. Yeah, from that plane. Oh, jeez. That was, that was actually very thoughtful. It was one of the best things I heard in a very long time. Like, infusing that kind of music into that kind of scene. It was very good. It was emotional also. This movie is not just about shooting and everything. It's an emotional movie. A man is struggling to get back to his daughter who's graduating. This translator is trying to get back to his family. Yeah, this was really nice. So yeah, sound 20 over 20. And now we're up to calculations. Let's go. It's six cars. <laughs> so guys, yeah, like I said, calculations. I gave the storyline 17. 
I gave the cast and delivery 18, visuals 18, makeup 18, and then I went down to sound 20. Adding this all up, it gives you 91. So you know how we do it. We divide by 5. And it gives us 18.2. So I'm not going to do like before. It's just 2. If it was 18.8, I'll give you a 19. For this 18.2. So basically, it remains 18. So for Kandahar, the movie 18. Yeah, 18 over 20. So guys, remember, my name still remains EK Banks. That original evil boy. And I need you guys to please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. And also like twitter channel please follow it comment man talk 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 and also comment below thank you guys i'll be seeing you next time Mwah. it's peace cause <laughs>